Dude, if she steals, that's good. You can blackmail her into having sex. Blackmail sex is the best because they have to do it. Can someone please lock up this man? What you know about rolling down in the deep when your brain goes numb? Hello, everyone, and welcome back to episode 10 of the UK in between us versus the US in between us. I am so excited. <laughs> Now, if you've seen my last video, which you probably didn't because it flopped, you would have seen that the last episode was actually okay. There was originality, there were relatively exciting storylines, and I genuinely thought that the American in between us might have been turning a corner. So, the big question was this episode equally as good? Is the American in between us actually starting to redeem itself? No, the episode was bad. Who would have thought? Now, if I'm being honest, I don't even know where to start with this episode because it was so bizarre. Yes, the episode was actually kind of original and you've got to give the show credit for that, but it just feels as if the writers are now plucking random storylines out of thin air and just hoping it makes for entertaining viewing. The main plotline of this episode revolves around the opening of a new school library which is sponsored by Red Bull. Because of this, everyone in the school suddenly becomes unhealthily obsessed with Red Bull to the extent that you cannot go 5 seconds in this episode without hearing the words Red Bull mentioned. Red Bull? Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. I love Red Bull. Red Bull! Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. This whole Red Bull sponsorship outrages Will, so he sets out on a mission to take a stand against the Red Bull library and raise awareness for how bad of an idea it is. However, as he stands there on national news, ready to deliver his eulogy about how bad the Red Bull library is, he sees Samantha Morrison, a girl who was introduced at the start of the episode and who Will developed an immediate crush on, standing there and drinking a Red Bull. And for this reason, he completely changes his mind on the whole Red Bull thing and claims it's a good idea, just to impress Samantha Morrison. Our books are open. I love it. What? It's the best thing that's ever happened to the school. So. Huh. <laughs> Okay. As I've said, in fairness, it's an original plotline, and that is always better than the stolen gags we have seen previously. Also, Will switching it up like that just because he fancies a girl does kind of fit his character, and it seems like something his character would do, especially in the US version. But it's just a very dull storyline, and it lacks any real humour, which isn't a good thing for a show that's meant to be a comedy. It did, ironically enough, just feel like a massive promotion for Red Bull. I don't know if Red Bull sponsored this episode, but that is definitely what it felt like. It's a shit storyline, shambles. Now the next point I wanna mention is the Lauren and Carly love triangle that we were introduced to in the last episode. If you saw my last video, again, you probably didn't, I mentioned how the introduction of Lauren into the dynamic between Simon and Carly was actually a welcomed change and that I would have liked to see this plotline built upon in future episodes. Well, essentially, this love triangle dynamic was absolutely fucking destroyed in this episode. Basically, they just decided to use this episode to completely get rid of the character of Lauren, and they did this by making her a shoplifter. Nani? Here's what happens. Simon witnesses Lauren shoplifting clothes, and he proceeds to tell her that he doesn't agree with what she's doing. Because of this, she agrees to stop stealing, but then she gets falsely accused of stealing some sunglasses that Simon put on her head. I think that's what happens. When she calls for Simon to back her up and help prove she's innocent to the shop guy, Simon decides just not to help her, and instead he opts to just go and continue sitting next to and consoling Harley, who has just gone through a breakup. Uh, uh, right. Consequently, Lauren gets taken away and isn't seen ever again <laughs> for the rest of the series, uh, basically meaning that the introduction of her character was completely fucking pointless. This basically means that in the two episodes after this, we're just going to go back to the boring old cliche of Simon simping over Carly, and this just be being his whole personality. How interesting. Now, these were the only two real plot lines in this episode, but I do think it's worth mentioning the character of Jay. I know I've said this many times previously, but I cannot emphasize how much I hate this character, and this episode somehow made me hate him even more. I don't know how I could have hated him more, but this episode made me hate him more. Like, the group will just be sitting there having a completely normal conversation, and then Jay, aka the Discord moderator himself, will just come out with a completely weird comment about how black male sex is the best. Dude, if she steals, that's good. You can blackmail her into having sex. Blackmail sex is the best. 
because they have to do it. What is wrong with this man? Like, could you ever imagine the UKJ, as weird as he was, saying something this borderline criminal? No, you couldn't. Additionally, later on in the episode, when Will is about to give his speech about the Red Bull Library, there's a quick shot of Jay on the computer, and you can genuinely see porn on the screen. I'm guessing this was meant to be like when the group watched porn at school in the UK version, but it's an absolutely atrocious rendition of it, and it just makes Jay seem even creepier than we already knew he was. I'm just sick of seeing his face, I'm sick of hearing his voice, I just want him gone from my life, please. As a final note, I think it's quickly worth discussing the character of Neil because if I'm being honest, this character might as well not exist. He just does absolutely nothing. Yes, as I've mentioned previously, he's an absolute wank version of the UK Neil, so it might actually be for the best that we just never see him, but I don't think there's even been one plotline in the US version that's actually solely revolved around Neil. He's literally just Jay's second in command, and to an extent, that's what he was in the UK version, but he played a much bigger role. He had some of the best storylines in the UK version, but in the US version, he's like a side character. He'll just sit there, make one or two comments, and then he'll just not be seen for the rest of the episode. In terms of this episode, it's no exception. He does about one thing in this episode, and besides the episode starting in his house, he might as well have not even been there. To be fair though, the only line he does say in this episode is actually the funniest line of the episode and is the only one that actually made me laugh. Simon! Oh, hey! Ugh, my Miss Bree. She might be here. They have a play area. Shut up. As a whole, this episode was pretty poor. The originality of it is probably the only positive I can find, but apart from that, it was bland and unfunny. I just feel as if it's dragging at this point. I really don't know how they managed to get two more episodes out of this shambles of a series. I mean, I know the last episode is a rip-off of the UK prom episode, so that'll be fun to talk about, but it feels as if the show writers have completely run out of ideas. Now, the views are going down on these videos, understandably, so I'm not going to set too much of a highlight target. Let's just say, I don't know, 2,000 likes, and I'll release the next episode. Subscribe if you're new, and leave a comment telling me what you think of this series. I'm going to guess that you think it's as shit as I do, but yeah. Also, please leave ideas of what you want to see after this series. I can't do it forever. I, I genuinely need new ideas. I was thinking of just talking, you know, about the UK version a bit more, doing some character analysis or maybe just low tier content like tier list. But yeah, like, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, link in the description, and peace.